In Ankova lecture, and we learn in linear regression, when we compare continuous outcome variable between groups. Okay, so one could be intervention, and then zero could be control group. And by adjusting for perfectly balanced covariate, and for example, mean age is exactly the same between intervention and control, or baseline variable of outcome variable is perfectly balanced between the groups. Okay, and adjusting for very strong prognosis factor, covariate which is highly associated with outcome variable, okay, will not change difference of y, mean difference of y between groups, which is better, but p value for the y for better can be much smaller by adjusting for baseline covariate because adjustment for covariate remove noise and that improves precision of the analysis okay so that's the concept we learn in ANCOVA lecture and uncollapsibility of odds ratio actually means that's not the case when you have a logistic regression when you have a logistic regression okay and y is whether having disease or non-disease in comparing two groups okay, and adjusting for covariate which is perfectly balanced between intervention and control group and highly associated with outcome variable okay and that will actually make better coefficient even further away from the norm so what is a beta coefficient exponential of better is odds ratio in logistic regression so adjusting for high prognosis factor can make odds ratio even bigger okay and then of course p-value can be much smaller and that's the uncollapsibility of odds ratio concept and so adjustment of covariate is even more important when you conduct a logistic regression and let me explain this using a following two by two table Okay. And this is a scenario, and you have 400 patients. And then of those, uh, 200 are randomized to drug, and the other 200 are randomized to placebo. Okay? And uh, you have 50% patient have a lung cancer. So a 2 by 2 table look like this, and odds ratio based on this 2 by 2 table is 1.2. Okay? And then you look at the subgroup, and of those 400 and 200 of them are smokers okay and then if you look at percent of smokers within drug and within placebo group and you have 50 percent half of these 200 to smoke and then half of these 200 are also smoke so percent of smokers are 50 percent in drug and 50 percent in placebo and so smoking is a variable and which is perfectly balanced between drug and placebo group and because of randomization and that can be very likely right and then another um, so here is a two by two for non-smokers so another two the other 200 patients are non-smokers and then similarly 50% uh, non-smokers in drug and 50% non-smoker in placebo group okay and then here within the small girls and you have much higher um, number of people with cancer okay and within non-small girls and much higher number of people have non-cancer okay and then based on this and we compute odds ratio and odds ratio are 5.2 for both subgroup analysis okay so uh, what we learn in confounding and interaction concept lecture for logistic regression when stratified odds ratio are the same and adjusted odds ratio should be also the same so if you adjust for smoking effect so your um, equation is here so why is lung cancer yes and no and then we want to assess drug versus placebo effect and then we adjust for smoking and we know smoking is a strong risk factor for 
lung cancer because a lot more patients have lung cancer in smokers. Okay. And after we adjust for smoking, okay, O2 ratio become 5.2. Okay. And so this suggests even though covariates is perfectly balanced between the two groups, adjusting for such strong covariate can change O2 ratio dramatically. And this is uncollapsibility by O's ratio. And this, therefore, it is very important to select uh, covariate to include in the regression uh, based on its association to outcome variable. Okay, so even with a perfectly balanced covariate, and it can change O's ratio dramatically.